Ow! What a piece. Fell here. Welcome back more. Let's play Corner Trigger. Last time. We made it into the cathedral. Well, you know. We can go according to the monsters, I would think. <laughs> to rescue the real Queen Lini. This time, we're going to be going deeper in the cathedral. Okay. Now, that steel saber that I got last time. Well, I kind of got it. I kind of... I, kind of, ah, I equipped it to Chrono. Basically, when I get new equipment, I'm going to hold off on um, changing equipment around until the end of the episode. Well, just for the sheer... Well, give me a all, I guess. To keep... To, ah! So I don't have to go to the menu too often. Okay, one shelter right over there. It's really nice. Given what I just used to um, kill the entire party. Oh well. Hey, this guy. Hey, buddy. What are you doing sleeping on the job? Break up! No! Stop it! I said you can't! Huh? I'll say this. You know what you're doing. Most certainly we know what we're doing. We're putting on a defenseless head and taking this lunch money! Ha! Yes! There you go. You're just one enemy, so... Goodbye. You got a lot of lunch money there. <laughs> okay, I'm not sounding like a bully. Let's just continue onward. This act of doors Anyway, welcome to the Battle of the Ages! Chrono versus Mad Bats, aka the weakest enemy in any RPG ever! Seriously, yeah, they have quite a bit of um, punch to them when it comes to attacks. But they barely have any HP whatsoever. I only need to point to one game that has. Skeletons and slimes aren't the weakest enemy in any RPG ever. I mean, seriously, just look at Final Fantasy VIII before Ben. They pack death. No joke. They pack death for an attack. Yeah, weakest enemies, my ass. But whatever. Even a melee attack from Luca is enough to finish them off in one hit. Tell me again how bats aren't the weakest enemy in any RPG ever. My god. I got time from here to leave. Yep, yep, let me just push one. Uh, oh, it doesn't look like there is any kind of hidden secret here at all. No. None whatsoever. The carpet just goes into the wall just for the sheer look of it. Some idiot left a note. Note, no entry. Yeah, that's plain as day. There's something there, obviously. So let's go right here. The, this switch, because that'll drop the um, spike wall. Over there, and a None of these enemies are going to get to me? Okay, I'll take it. And how'd you spin through the walls? Man, those... I gotta give those Diablos credit. Being able to jump straight through those walls... That's incredible talent. Don't let anyone knock you for that. That is amazing. Man, you are my favorite Diablos. <laughs> but lucky for unlucky for you, Hank, you're getting a fire roll, and yes, I'm paying attention this time. <laughs> okay, every now and then it is really fun to uh, be ridiculously overpowered in some powder, overpowered in some centuries, because I'm not knocking that. I do agree with a lot of Chugga Chugga saying that not every game has to be impossible for it to be fun. I take you out. Oh! Haha! <laughs> Overkill by a lot! 
That's a real good spit in your face right there. Okay, now before we're playing the organ right over there. An iron sword, real nice right there, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and play this organ. That'll open up the hidden door. Which is not really hidden, let's be honest. It's very clear there's a passage there. Uh, get it? There's a passage there. <laughs> there's a cathedral. <laughs> okay, not really. We get it's an ambush as we're heading to the door. Man, what a bunch of jokers. Man, let's just level up. Very nice. He says drinking a bit of dew. <laughs> oh well, it's the buying the buy the sign and the head on the head. Okay. There's a save point here. I wonder what's on the other side. Whatever, I wanna take on these enemies and get a bit of last minute experience points before going on ahead. I ain't not bad at all. I could take on um, those two hinges right over there. Uh, honestly, I think we're good. Alright, after having taken my game, let's go on ahead. Get Yakra, get Yakra, get Yakra! Prepare yourself, Green Lini! Uh, screw you! I don't care about the Queen, I want the treasure! You! I'm joking, yeah! Frog! Majesty, stand back and allow us, Dona! Careful! <laughs> this is a fight! No one will leave you alive! Stupid frog! It's time you jumped off this mortal coil! True form change! Reverts to Yakra. Is it? The fight against Yagra commences. Okay, this guy can be fairly strong. This is the battle I want to show off. Cross Strike. Boom! Yeah! That is my favorite physical tech. Okay, as a counter attack against this bounce around like a ping pong ball. <laughs> Honestly, that looks really cool. How he's just literally bouncing off the wall. It's enemies on a line. Ugh. That was really, really. Uh, that is his most powerful attack. Crap, Lucas going down. Damn it. Uh, I really didn't want to have to use a revive here, but like I said, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do it. Ah, uh, that was really, really bad timing. Ah, uh, whatever. I mean, I, I probably want to just hold off on using Chrono's um, MP. Primarily for the use of Cross Strike. And I can hope that Luca survives this. Or I think Luca Chrono. And I really need to pay attention to HP here. But just speaking of which, I need to heal myself before it gets too late. And just do a flame toss here to do quite a bit of damage to Yukra. Actually, not much damage, although my thinking. Because his heal attack. Oh, that really sucks. It has quite a bit of HP like any typical boss would. But I can at least hope he's almost done. 
Okay, good. I can get off a slurp. Look at you need it the most. Frog, I know you need it, but let's be real. It's Luca we're talking about here. Yeti! Oh, of course! Why would it be any different? Why wouldn't he target Frog? I mean, jeez. This fight could be going a lot smoother than it is. Oh, it really sucks that I don't have Splash on Mark yet. Too close, can't cut attack, yes! <laughs> Honestly, I kind of wasn't expecting that. Oh, he's far enough away to counter, of course. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot that if he's in, if he's in close proximity, he can't counter. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, um... Hopefully finish him off with the cross strike! There he goes! He's done! Yakura, you're finished! Not bad. Me likey. Come to rescue me. Thank you, Frog. The king awaits. Let us return to the castle. I think the Chrono and Luca. Tis our pleasure, good sir. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Please join us. Shall. Another right, frog's theme. This is what we're hearing. All time favorite song in the entire game. Hands down. Seriously, look it up and listen to, listen to it for yourself. This is the absolute best song in the game. And look, there's the real chancellor. Oh, thank you. That monster stuffed me in there. Oh, your highness. As you can see, I am undamaged. We saved the real chancellor. Now we must be on our way. Let's return to the castle. It auto takes us to the castle, which is um, something I'm a huge fan of. You got me worried, Mimi. That no good Yakra impersonating me and kidnapping the Queen. We must create a criminal justice system in this kingdom and do away with such fiends. I failed to protect Queen Lini. I have disgraced me. Frog. This bows and locks off. Your timing was perfect. Who knows what would have happened had you not seen me. By the way, where is that girl who was mistaken for me? Oh yeah! I forgot all about Princess Nadia. Chrono, where did Princess Nadia disappear? She may still be there. Back to the real cancer? Yeah, she did. Yeah, he says the exact same thing again. I can't believe like, I refer to um, the cancer of a girl who needs clearly an old man. But it was a fault of mine, mentioning danger to the Queen. I shall depart from good. Chrono, you have the potential to be a good swordsman. Froggy. Froggy. You weren't such a bad guy either. His pride was wrecked. Huh? 
I really feel bad for Frog. My favorite character. See, I'm still crushed because of what happened. That makes me feel terrible for the poor guy. Oh well, we'll see him in the near future. Now let's return to where Meryl disappeared. She's back! Huh? What happened? My voice cracked, that's what happened. Princess Nadia. Chrono. It was awful. I can't recall it all. All summer cold, dark, and lonely. Is that what it's like to die? Welcome back, Princess Nadia. You were alive to help me too, Princess Nadia. Uh oh. I guess you guys figured it out, huh? Sorry, Kono. I didn't mean to deceive you. I'm Princess Nadia. My father is King Gardia the Thirty Third. I only enjoyed being with you at the fair, but if you hadn't known my identity, Colonel, you wouldn't have shown me around. You wouldn't have shown me around the fair, right? Right? Wrong! Oh, Colonel, that's why I like you. The real queen's safe, right? So let's go home, Colonel. More look at you. The stronger the resemblance. Uncanny. What do you have to say now? You guys leaving? Wherever you're heading, be careful. Be well. It means the real queen, uh, the real Leany was somewhere else. Exactly as I thought. You were spot on with your suspicion. Oh well. Anyway, I'll meet you guys back at the um mountain. Where we shall return to the present. Uh, wait, hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. Every time you come here you get a shelter. Not bad. <laughs> There looks like he's constipated when he's sitting like that. <laughs> oh my crap, I do it the time to appreciate that. Holy cow. Uh, we're not quite back yet. I just wanted to see what uh, I don't know why I find that funny. I just do. Yeah. I just want to take this moment to um, show another um, tech as both Luca and Chrono has learned one. Come on, look, get ready. There you go, thank you. I introduce you to... HypnoWave! What it does is put all the enemies in a set radius around Luca into a trance, basically. And Flash, basically the same as, um... HypnoWave. Well, not HypnoWave, but Flame Toss. Crap. That is just wonderful. Yeti! Into an imp, no less. Well, it is a green imp, but still an imp. This... Ooh, aura. An aura roll. Aura is a tech that heals some um, party members. And, ooh, we got a new enemy. I'm glad I picked up where I did. This is a poly. Oh my god, a different color roly. <laughs> I 
He dances on her back for an attack. That's... <laughs> uh, that seems kind of funny, actually. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Jeez, why am I getting so unlucky with the battles here? Jeez. Well, I could at least show off Hey, there you go, it's a healing tech. I personally like to um, use healing techs over items because they tend to be more reliable. Oh, if you use the scrub button, you can actually change the position of the HUD, which is kind of cool, I guess. Or if you want the HUD to be on the bottom or the top, you can use the scrub button. Yes, that was excellent on the Super Nintendo version and DS version. Yeah, baby! Oh, no, well. Let's go back to where we um, arrived through the warp. How do we get home? Here it is. Er, princess, we. Please call me Meryl. Well then, Meryl, observe. Wow. Look at you're amazing. I know, right? Any of the And she's got a ego as big as her IQ. Oh, um, I mean None for the false modesty. You have a real gift. Or trade my royal ancestry for your genius in a heartbeat. Well, if you say so. Anyway, my goal is saying a gate. I call it a portal. Well, that was redundant of me! It takes you to the same location in a different era. Gates are usually unstable. So we use the principle behind my telepod device. Create a gate key. Now we can use them as we please. But why did this gate suddenly appear? Either the telepod had something to do with it, or something else made it. This is getting pretty weird. Let's at least head back to our own time. Alright, come in, Corno. Through the teleport, through the teleport, let's go back to the present. Where he belong. Holy hell, that was one intense time trip. We're back! Chrono, Luca, why don't you come home with me to the castle? I'd like to have you come... Uh, I'd like you to come over for dinner. Sorry for putting you through all that, Meryl. Are you joking? That was the most fun I had in months! I have some new friends, too. Chrono. Colonel, be a gentleman and take her home. I've got some work to do. See you soon, Luca. Will you escort me home, Colonel? You will. But we're going to be doing that next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. See you guys then. Chrono X Merle. I totally ship it.